I remember the words of the late Bruce Lee saying, never correct a fool, otherwise he will hate you. Correct a wise man and he will appreciate you. There is no fool that loves a teacher. A fool is like a dumb person. Criticizing him is like embarrassing him. Even advising a fool is dangerous. They see themselves perfect. They don't do mistakes. They know everything. It's dangerous advising a person who knows much. Many have lost their jobs by trying to advise their bosses who know too much. It's better at work, but when it comes to love affairs, it's worse. Never accept to beg advice from someone who will advise you. You may advise to the one who was done wrong and never return to the one who did him wrong and tell you you are jealous. The problem of a fool is, he asks for an advice with answers that are already on his mind. But when you advise him different without expected to hear from you, it's a conflict. For your own safety, if he asks for an advice, ask him, what do you have in mind? The answers you will be given, just side with him like members of parliament. Never parody with a fool, because when a wise or smart man sees you parodying with a fool, it will never be known who is a fool among you and who is not. When you fight with a pig, and you too will go dirty. Because a pig is already an expert at being dirty. A fool is an advisor who because he believes all of you are foolish like him. You may speak to him crucial matters, but he plays with phone. A foolish person may beg for an appointment at your office. Suddenly a phone calls, he answers it and starts communicating with the other. How will you feel about that? You may feel like you want to chase him out, right? You can teach a fool how to read, but not in thinking. That is why we have so many scholars who are educated, but the ones with great thinking capacity are few. Many walk with the minds of others. What's so sad is, a foolish person doesn't recognize himself if he is a fool. Try to find a foolish person close to you and tell him stop being foolish. Wait for the reaction. Test him. The distance between foolishness and anger is so short like mouth and nose. Despite you may go for an outing with a foolish person and end up being a disaster even before you arrive. When you reach for a firm place, you have no desire again. Living with foolish individuals is so dangerous. Are you able to stay the whole day with a notorious foolish without fighting even a little bit? And also there are no confident people in making bad decisions like fools. A fool may bribe the whole salary and swear never to repeat the same mistakes. When salary comes again, he bribes again. Such person is difficult to understand and easy to forget. No fool who lands according to mistakes time. Never regrets. A fool is a dead ear that doesn't feel medicine. Don't hassle with idiots. They may confuse you and lose your map because I know them. You may say good recommendations to the government and the fool stands up and say, you are desiring to be sworn in. When you want to say, you want to answer him, you destroy. Because when smart people see you together, may fail to identify who is a fool and who is not. Because birds of a feather flock together. Smart people don't criticize fools. Neither advise them, they use them in money making. When you succeed working with fools, you'll be wealthy. Because there are many of them. Mark Twain once said, he is grateful for foolish people. Because without them, I would never succeed. Look at how betting companies eat fools money every day during the evening. Fools look at them how they make money while theirs keep losing every day because they are idiots. For example, you have been sent an SMS telling you you have won 5 million shillings and you believe it. And you are told to send 100,000 shillings to claim your prize. Schmuck. I got a question for you. If you see such a very easy things and easy to get, know that you are in a trap. Untrap now. How do you untrap where you are not smart upstairs? Let your mat be torn. What can we do? These days, betting companies grow wealthier because of the crowded foolish people. These ones, when you tell them you are stolen, both of them who got stolen and the one who steals will hate you when you tell them the truth. Now why die for others? Are you Jesus? Make a change and make a difference.